Due to the troubles at Warner Bros, the McGonagall deck hasn't received any attention. Now that the transfers are settling down, and many of you have completed the transition, it's time to test one of Professor McGonagall's popular decks, which is specifically tailored to water element charms. This deck isn't ideal for solo duels due to its lack of mobility, but it's more effective in duo duels where you can pair up and work together. Let's find a strong opponent corresponding to my spellbook level to see how this deck performs in action. Judging from my cards, I have Orb of Water, and the next card is Aguamenti. These two could make for an effective starting pair. It's wise to get rid of the opponent's companions, especially Kevin. Combining Protego with Side Along Apparition creates a formidable support combo. Side along apparition. The witch snowballs. Use the Abigail companion on the most distant opponent to have her transform into a werewolf, and then unleash the water combo to capitalize on the chaos. Take it from here. Leave it to me. When the combo is performed successfully, there is no chance of survival for the opponent. Furthermore, Abigail survives and proceeds to destroy the Daniel Companion. Unfortunately, the opponent has proven to be more than astute deftly avoiding our traps and successfully saving his partner. Let's set up another water combo while simultaneously taking out the Ron companion. That's it for me. Good luck! Despite our efforts, the opponents have managed to survive once more, and they are undoubtedly devising a plan to counterattack. Fantastic, Sorry, mate. I'm cats. done for. Stack of monster book of monsters. You might as well give up now. That counterattack was quite powerful, and now it's time to call in the Daniel companion to heal myself. I won't matter. I'll pass you on. All the While the Daniel companion heals me and distracts the opponent's summons. I'll focus my efforts on completing the water combo. Since the Malfoy gang is still alive, I have no choice but to use the Incendio charm. You've got this! This isn't over! I have already exhausted my movement points, so I need to meticulously plan every step from now on. Since I wasn't able to catch both opponents in the water combo, I'm going to invest a movement point to take out both Death Eaters simultaneously. You can still win! Unfortunately, I fell short by just one bolt, and ended up defeated by the last Death Eater. In my haste, I used the Aguamenti charm to cause substantial damage to the opponent and inadvertently created an Incendio and Aguamenti combo which will play a critical role in deciding the outcome of this match. The opponent managed to disrupt my assault once again, successfully rescuing their partner. And now, here comes a truly devastating combo. In summary, this deck is a heavy-duty option that offers support elements but struggles with mobility. However, once you get the opponent locked down, you can exert significant damage and offset its shortcomings. 
It may not propel you to the pinnacle of the rankings, but it will provide you with an enjoyable gameplay experience. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. Daniel, to shield our family, we urgently need those potions. Do I really have any other choice? No, I am not forcing you. Please do it for us and your mum. Damn, I have a really bad feeling about this.